Equipment Editor Jim Park here. For this test drive, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, with Dana's first production-ready medium-duty electric powertrain. It's installed in this Peterbilt Model 220 straight truck fitted with a beverage body. Since the truck has an electric powertrain, the chassis is designated as the Model 220 EV. Before we get to the electric stuff, here's a few words about the truck itself. Got to hand it to Peterbilt with this uh, Model 220 cab. From a driver's perspective, the maneuverability in this thing is fantastic. We're actually sitting slightly forward of the steer axle, which is a bit disconcerting if you're used to sitting behind one. Uh, but the maneuverability is tremendous. The visibility is really, really good. The huge front windshield. Nice, firm feel to the steering. It's not all sloppy. Of course, it's still hydraulically powered even though the truck is electric. Uh, an electric motor drives the hydraulic power steering pump, so from a feel perspective, from the driver's point of view, it doesn't feel any different at all from a diesel. And everything about this truck is comparable to a diesel model, with the exception of the fact that it's really torquey. Great acceleration and deceleration, and of course, as you can hear, absolutely no engine noise. This is uh, a real treat to drive. We began the drive downtown by the CNN Center. We drove around the city for a bit, and then we grabbed I-20 to see how it handled high-speed driving. So now we're up on Interstate 20, uh, just sort of heading west out of the downtown area of Atlanta. Got the truck up to uh, 62 miles an hour. It's turning 2,700 RPM, give or take, 2,650 sort of high-end RPM limit on the engine is about 35, but that doesn't really impact its uh, energy output or energy demand. In fact, I think it's more efficient at higher RPM, but at any rate, this thing is trucking right along like any diesel would, minus one great big thing, and that's noise. This is a spectacular drive. <laughs> you know, anybody who wouldn't want to drive a truck like this for six or seven or eight hours a day would be nuts. Um, just in this driver comfort alone of, of driving along in relative silence uh, without the roar of the diesel going at you all day long would be uh, uh, kind of like taking two or three hours off the day, I guess, from a fatigue or stress point of view. This is really quite amazing. Now, the other thing that's pretty amazing, and I'm not going to do it right here on the middle of the highway, is the uh, retarding power that comes from turning this motor into a generator. In the city, I was thinking, well, this is pretty good. A uh, diligent driver could certainly go a long way to recovering any energy during the braking event. But uh, I'm gonna get off on an exit ramp here in just a minute and just take my foot off the accelerator and see what kind of stopping power we get from the, uh, from the motor slash generator, uh, which is now gonna be pumping all this momentum energy, kinetic energy back into the battery probably get you a few extra miles or minutes during the day. Okay, so now my foot's off the off the throttle pedal, off the accelerator, and we're gonna coast down this ramp. So deceleration-wise, to me it feels pretty much like uh, an engine brake would in maybe the second position on the kind of motor you'd find in a truck like this. So we're coasting down, hit 30 now. We're coasting downhill, by the way. Uh, so we've got deceleration on a downhill grade, okay, now it's starting to kick in a little bit. 10, there's 15, 10 miles an hour. So basically we've come to a stop at the bottom of an inclined exit ramp from 60 miles an hour to zero. And I never touched the brake pedal. Never touched the brake pedal. After booting around town for a while, I started figuring out how to make energy by coasting the truck to a stop whenever I could. So we just made a little detour through a neighborhood Wanted to stop and check the truck out, and lo and behold, we've now got 151 miles of range. We went in here with 143, so we made ourselves six miles in range, seven miles in range, for free. Coasting down those hills. Coasting downhill. Try and do that with a diesel truck. <laughs> you know, the fuel in this thing and the energy that you recover from going downhill or even just braking is uh, quite remarkable. To the best of my knowledge, the regenerative braking system right now is set to 
kind of medium so it could still be ratcheted up even further which might make for a kind of a rorty sort of ride but you might get more energy recovered but uh, you know, as, as I demonstrated earlier we were coasting downhill decelerating and actually coming to a stop at the bottom of that freeway on-ramp without ever touching the brake so there's something to be said for this regenerative braking and of course it makes free energy for you so we're sitting on a slight uphill grade here right now and I do have to keep my foot on the brake in order to keep it from rolling back uh, it's not like an automatic transmission that you know is always pushing you forward I do have to use some brake to hold the thing in place so I'm sort of learning at this point how to uh, how to modulate the impact of the regenerative braking and just keeping my foot slightly on the accelerator pedal is a bit like applying the brake in reverse except if you you want to coast more you can put your foot down a little bit on the on the on the accelerator pedal if you want more retarding you just back your foot off the pedal a little bit and you can, uh, you can control that so a diligent driver who is working hard to get you know all the regenerative energy that they could can certainly figure that out in in short order and uh, make the best of their time when they're coasting so there's a pickup from a dead stop up a grade a uh, fairly steep one you know the electric motor had absolutely no issues at all getting up that beautiful smooth launch obviously we're not playing with a clutch or uh, you know an automated manual or an automatic transmission we all know how they feel at low speed sometimes, but uh, this electric motor start is so smooth. Just put your foot slightly down on the accelerator pedal and it starts to move. And of course, there's no gears to change. This is a direct drive right from the, the motor to the drive shaft to the back wheels. It's uh, no gears to shift at all. So here's a couple of things I took away from that test drive. The electric drive system is remarkably smooth and quick to accelerate. It's amazingly quiet, and as you saw, it does a great job of generating its own electricity just by coasting or rolling downhill. The truck as I drove it is just 260 pounds heavier than the diesel version of the Model 220, so it's an inconsequential difference. I think once these things go into production, drivers will be clamoring to drive them. Dana says the trucks will be in customer fleets this year for trials and they should be on dealer lots by 2020. In Atlanta, Georgia, with Dana's new electric drivetrain in a Peterbilt Model 220 EV, I'm equipment editor Jim Park.